Hey everyone, I'm Jason, and today's video is an actual video request. Somebody sent me this, and if you're getting this, that means your recorder is bricked. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Okay, so if you have this, or you got this, that means you downloaded the wrong firmware, or you skipped ahead on the firmware. When you do firmwares, it's very important that you actually do it in steps. You can't just skip ahead. Okay, so to fix this, there's a couple things we need to download and there's a couple things we need to do. So first things first, we need to find out what version of firmware you have on your recorder. It's very important that we put the exact firmware back in. It's the only way it will be fixed. So if you're not sure which firmware you have, the first thing we need to download is the SADP software. Okay, so let's head over to the computer. Okay, so we're on the computer right now. This is the Hike Visions website I'm on. So I got a couple of links open here. First things first, let's head over to my website, jasonschannel.com. This is the page you're gonna get right now. There's some other stuff here if you wanna check it out. We did have a giveaway. If you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and you can sign up for the next giveaway. But right now we need software, then Hike Vision. And the software we're going to need is the TFTP. Since we're here, might as well download it because this is what's going to fix your MVR DVR. And also, this also works on your IP cameras. But this is the tool we need right now. So the SADP tool. So click on it to download and also click on this one to download it. Since we're in here, might as well download it. Okay, so once we download it, open it up. Okay, so this is what you're gonna get. If you got nothing showing here, that means you're not on the same network as your recorder. And it's very important that you're hardwired. You cannot be on Wi-Fi. Close that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, you're gonna look for your recorder. Mine's right here. And right here, software version. So here it is right here. So what you got to do is you got to make sure you download this exact firmware. Once again, this is probably the most important part. You got to make sure you download the right firmware. Okay. So once you know which one you need, let's go back to the computer now. Go to Hike Vision's website. I'll leave these links in the description. And over here, you could type in your recorder. Okay, then it'll give you the software. I'm just using this one as an example. So here it is right here. So right now, it's only giving me this one. If you cannot find the one that you need here, so you gotta go to Hike Vision's portal to get all the versions of the firmware. Okay, so over here, here's Hike, and Hike Look. I watch, I'm not sure which one that is, but this is the one we need. So we click on here. Now, what you're going to go, you're going to get this. Once again, all these links will be in the description, but front end is cameras, back end is the recorder. So click on back end. Now you choose which device you have. You have a DVR or an MVR. If you're not sure, MVR is network video recorder, and this is just a digital video recorder. So I'm going to click on NVR. Now you have to pick your series. Okay, if you have an older model, you can find it here. If you have a non Hike Vision recorder, go to Perfect View. They're probably one of the best sites out there that have a OEM Hike Vision recorder firmware. So here's your DVR recorder firmware and NVR firmware. So I'm going to click over here just to show you guys. So here's a whole bunch of models. If you go to discontinued, you click on it. The reason why I like this site so much is it actually does break it up for you. So there's a whole bunch of firmware here and it actually tells you right over here as an example, need at least version 308 uh, to download this version, right? Need first, right? So they actually break it up for you. So once you finish downloading all the stuff that we need, once again, the TFTP, that's the firmware I need for the recorder I got. Okay, next step is we need to adjust your NIC card on your computer. 
Okay, first things first, let's go down here. Let's find a little network. Now we go over here, open network and internet settings. Now we're gonna head over to change adapter options. Now we're gonna go to ethernet, right click. Once again, you do have to be hardwired for this to work. You cannot do Wi-Fi. Now we go to properties. Now we're going to look for the protocol version four right over here. Highlight it, then go to properties. Over here, you're going to go to use the following IP address. Check mark it. And now you're going to type in the following IP address. One, nine, two. Zero period zero period one two eight. Then we go to the sub mass, and once you click on it, this will automatically appear. Now just hit OK, close, and over here we could just drop the screen down. We're not going to close it because we need to come back to put this back to default. We're on the back end of the recorder now, so now we're going to do is you're going to open this up. We're going to grab our firmware. Once again, this is the exact firmware that I have on my recorder already. So you're going to go over here where it says application. You're going to right click and do run as administrator. And once you do it, you're going to get this pop up. So now what you're going to do is you're going to turn your recorder off. Wait a few seconds and turn it back on. Once you turn it back on, this now will take over and it will detect your recorder. And now we're just gonna sit back and wait. Do not touch anything until it's completed. This is live, I'm not fast forwarding this. This is how long it's actually gonna take. And once it's completed, you're going to get the same message I just got. Okay, so once you see the complete sign, make sure you close this box right away. Or it's, it's going to try to do this all over again. And that's all to it. Now your recorder should be booting back up and you should be good to go. Okay, so don't forget we need to restore our network. So let's head over back to our network. Okay, so right click. Go to properties. Over here, protocol number four. Highlight it, hit properties again, and over here, we're going to hit automatically and press OK. Close everything up now, and that's all to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, please give me a comment below. If you like this video, hit those thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching, and have a great day.